Hey, what's up, guys? This is Shiraz from Integration IT. Uh, I was doing some free PBX project, and one of my customer he contacted me and said, like, hey, um, for some reason, he is not able to access his free PBX uh, web page for some reason, and he wanted me to look into this issue and fix it as soon as possible because. And that system was in production and I had barely a very little time to fix that issue. So I was just going through the configuration and I was looking at the logs. So what happened is, I mean, first of all, as you can see, this is the error message on my screen. Uh, it gives some sort of indicator like, you know, we have some access denied or permission denied issue. Uh, the only thing was we need to look at at which place or in which config file we have to uh, we can get this issue fixed so uh, this is I mean you you may see this this kind of error or if you see DB connection error so the 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 solution which I'm going to show you it may fix the both errors so what you need to do first is uh, you need to have this application called WinSCP. So you need to log in uh, to your uh, what do you call it? basically you are doing the SFTP to your asterisk box. Okay. And uh, you need to go to the ETC folder and then you need to look at a file called freepbx.config so as you can see it has the AMP uh, username and database username password and the database name so basically this freepbx.config free file is trying to access the asterisk database and if you can see I have a username and then I have a password okay so this should match the DD, uh, the database username and password. So one more thing I wanted to show you, if you go and open the other file, which is AMP portal config file. Okay. And let me just quickly bring on the screen. Okay. If you go down all the way, you should be able to see something very similar over here. So basically we have the same username, but if you notice the password was not correct. I just removed one letter, which is letter R. So I'll just update in this file, which is the free pbx.config file. Okay. So the username and the password they all should match, which is free pbx user. In some of the cases, Okay, uh, especially if you are using Elastics 4, maybe the username is different. Maybe it's a asterisk user. It doesn't matter as long as the user who has the full permission on the database, you can use the same username. But I would recommend whatever comes with the default, you should, you should always go with the same one. So now if you see, I have the same username, same password configured here, configured same database so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna save this file it is saved okay and without closing I'll just go to this for file I mean this page uh, the free pbx config page I'll just that's it this has fixed our access denied page and as I said, if you are seeing access denied or DB connection, if it is a DB connection, that means you are not able to connect to the right database. And if it says the access denied, that means there is something wrong with the username or with the password. Don't worry about this one. You can simply ignore this. If I ref refresh the page again, you won't see that error again. So. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.